Alright guys, we're here with Ethan Krellinson. He's on another Europe tour, giving some seminars. And yeah, Ethan, how's it going here? Pretty good, I love it here. Yeah. Awesome. A little cold, but... Yeah, at the I'll moment it's cold. Yeah. You should come in summer. But you, you've been here in summer, right? The first time I was here, yeah, it was summer. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. so different. It's, it's not vacation as yeah. much, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's actually yeah. also like the people in winter, they sit like inside all the time yeah everybody streets are empty yeah yeah there's just garbage flying around and <laughs> yeah and in summer you see all the people yeah outside happy happy faces yeah not not now yeah so obvious question what do you think about the level in Europe and then especially in Germany because I think uh, you have been around in Germany quite quite mm. a lot right uh, level in Europe overall very good very high uh, Probably level I'd say is a little higher overall in North America, just with California, New York, and Florida. But uh, Europe in the Gi, very, very strong overall. Uh, Germany specifically is like, it's growing very fast. Matrix specifically is very good, getting faster, getting uh, bigger, very faster. A lot of technical guys, a lot of really strong guys. Um, yeah, I mean, I suck in the Gi, so I don't know. I have, I have no way of knowing how good everyone is in the Gi, but no Gi, I, there, it's growing. People are pretty good here. Well, thank you. That's, that's really nice to hear. Um, what are you working on right now to get better? Because obviously you had a pretty quick rise. Like I've recently saw some uh, Firas the Hobby instructional where you and Oli Taza sit in the background with the blue belts. Yeah. And yeah. I look at this. Oh my God! And this is maybe that's three crazy. years ago, right? Yeah. So yeah, yeah, three years ago. So like, just you just destroyed me pretty pretty badly, <laughs> and. Um, like what I can tell, everything you do, like it doesn't change so much, but the control, uh, the pressure, has gotten worse. Like like worse for me. <laughs> it, it's just, I don't know. It, it's it's yeah. So I think like uh, when I'm working, whatever I'm doing at the time, back at Henzo's and TriStar, uh, guys there start to figure it out pretty fast, and um, I have to make little adjustments here and there, some conscious, some unconscious. Uh, so let's say I, I just get stronger at what I'm doing and then I, I change little parts of what I'm doing because of my training partners, they, they adapt yeah. to it. So, so every time I come back here, you know, it, there's like a month or so where I'm just there training. And uh, yeah, things change pretty quick in, in all our games. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, he is, it's the same, obviously. Mm -hmm. Like, somebody comes in, uh, does some new shit, taps everyone with it. And then they learn. And one week yeah. later, it, it doesn't work that, that exactly. much anymore. Exactly. I think that's why it, it's very good to travel and roll with so many different people. Yeah, you get a good feel for, like, how your game works against the rest of the world. Yeah. And uh, it changes how you roll a little bit. You know, you, it shakes up your routine. Uh, yeah, yeah, I agree with that. But do you feel already that the learning curve is going like way lower than it was in the like, first two, three years? Uh, there's definitely like more, well, I don't know, it's hard to say because the first two or three years of training is, was just a, a mess. It was just like, I'll get, I don't know, I'll, I'll know what I'm doing one round and I have, I'll have no idea what I'm doing the next round. Yeah. And you know, now it's kind of like more, I guess we're more uh, specifically working on parts of our game, so we, we're kind of, actively trying to get better at certain things, whereas back then it was just kind of figuring out yeah. what the hell I'm doing. Um, so it's different. The learning curves are, are different. I wouldn't say sharper, but they're like definitely more satisfying. Right now when I get better, I'm like, oh, thank yeah. God I'm getting better still. Yes. Back then it's like, oh, I got better. I know that feeling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know yeah. that feeling. Yeah. So I guess the, the John Denneher's approach helps a lot. I guess uh, like seeing his podcast, this guy's analytical. The guy's a genius. genius. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The guy's a genius. So it's crazy. I guess it's 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 cool to have someone like him that oh, can yeah, really, yeah, yeah. on a high level, tell you, hey, maybe look at look at this part of your of your game. Change yeah, this yeah, game. yeah, absolutely. It's more like uh, I guess cr critiquing of our game. Yeah, I guess it's probably my uh, training partners back home would agree with that. But uh, <laughs> no, it's good. Yeah, he's an excellent coach. Yeah. Really knows how to. I think actually. Us train as well. Everybody that sleeps on that development that's really coming from this academy mostly is crazy because the level is like, it's so different. The game is, is so different. And yeah. now, of course, a lot of people try to adapt it. 
<laughs> but it's not that easy. Not if you're, same, no, that's no, why no. we invite you guys all yeah. the time, and it's it's always it's so cool. Um, what is your advice for for the upcoming guys now, like blue belts? Uh, and okay, say, so if I was a blue belt, if I could give advice to myself when I was a blue belt, it would just be just keep training every day. There's no like specific answers you can get. There's no shortcuts. You just stay consistent and you're going to get good. Just enjoy it and you're going to get good. Yeah, I you think know, that's find, a good Find a good relationship. Build a good relationship with your coach. Yeah. Uh, you know, don't stay in your bubble. Uh, definitely learn leg locks. Mm -hmm. Please learn leg locks as yeah. soon as possible. Uh, like everyone already knows them at this point. No, it's not like a secret anymore. Um, but if you ignore them, you're going to get caught. And uh, just train. Just keep training. What about takedowns? Takedowns, learn to wrestle. Don't make the same mistake I did. Now I'm, I'm behind, now I have to learn yeah. to wrestle uh, from the beginning, but yeah. yeah, definitely learn to wrestle to win ADCC yeah. eventually. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Um, what are your plans for the near future? Near future, so there's, uh, just basically continue doing what I'm doing. Just keep training, keep getting better, step one. Uh, compete as much as possible in the biggest events as possible against the biggest names as possible and beat them is the plan. Yeah. yeah. How so old are you? I'm 23. Okay. <laughs> Lots of time. Yeah, Lots, Lots of, of time. time. I'm good. That's I'm good. great. Um, what, what do you think? Obviously in the last like five, maybe even, let's say 10 years, the evolution of Jiu-Jitsu has been crazy, right? Mm -hmm. like, yeah. You're around just, for how long? Four, four and a half years? Yeah. Four years. Like, yeah. Yeah, watch, just, some, watch some old footage and like Hoyce Gracie it's in the first Yeah, yeah. they're just, they're not doing like anything. They're just doing like the basic, basic yeah. things that were taught at the very, very beginning. It's cool to see how much just has kind of flourished yeah. you know, where, it's, uh, where it's going. So what do you think? How far will this still go? Like how? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I feel like uh, it's starting to plateau. Maybe like if you look at other sports like wrestling and judo, mm -hmm. the discrepancies between the top guys are almost non-existent you know whereas yes. now the the top guys there's you take the top 100 names whoever they might be and there's a significant skill difference between them uh so it's i think it's still kind of it has time to shoot up a little bit uh it hasn't maybe reached the ceiling but i feel like it's getting close i don't know i really it's hard to tell it's hard to tell i haven't really seen every possible, you know, I haven't competed in every rule set. I haven't yeah. competed against every guy, every big guy out there, you know, I, yeah. I don't know, uh, I don't know what it's like yet, you know? I feel like I still have a lot to, to see, so. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully it, it still has a lot to go. Yeah, be I believe strongly in that, because yeah. if you see how much the, like, the leg lock boom yeah, changed yeah, 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 yeah. the game, to a point where if you don't know leg locks, all you're the rest screwed. of your jiu-jitsu, it's almost like you don't know jiu-jitsu. Yeah, you're just going to get submitted. You're going to get tapped by a blue yeah. belt. You yeah, know? you're just going to get submitted by a guy who knows so, the belt. And there are like other areas of the game that I think... Yeah, I look at the back system. You yeah. are a master at the back system. Uh, it's so... Yeah, but... I'm it's, trying, I'm trying. <laughs> it's so different than it, than it used to be. Like, yeah, get it's, a seat it's belt, much more advanced, yeah. fall to the, to the overhook side, and look for the rear naked choke. That yeah, that was, was it. The back game, yeah. you know. And, now there's a lot more. Yeah. Okay, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. Uh, do you train in the gi? Uh, like. Yeah, I do. I do train in the gi. I do train. In the gi. I just don't take pictures yeah. of myself training in the gi. But I promise you, for those viewers, I am training in the gi. Uh, hopefully, I'll be doing Pan Ams uh, and No Gi Worlds next time they come around. Mm -hmm. I just need to get very comfortable in the gi because I plan on winning. Hopefully, not just getting my ass kicked. That's the plan, at least. Uh, yeah, I do train in gi. Yeah, definitely more in dogi, especially with the ADCC camp yeah. and everything. Yeah. Do, do you think it's necessary to train gi? Uh, especially necessary? I don't know, but it definitely does. I, I really do think it, it helps my uh, no gi. It's, it's like the, you know you have two arms and two legs, mm -hmm. and you can move in the, in the same way. It's just the grips. The only thing is different is the grips mm -hmm. and the friction. Uh, but I think there's something to like keeping posture when they're grabbing your collar and that's going to help when I'm passing a nogi. Uh, there's something to like clearing grips on your legs that can transfer over to nogi. Um, I don't know if it's, if it's necessary, you know, Eddie Cummings is a, is a perfect example of why it might not be necessary. He's a world-class grappler, 
and he's, I don't know, probably mm-hmm. trying to McGee three times. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I don't know how much, but not a lot can be certain. Um, you know, who knows? Who knows if it'll, if it'll have helped him or not, but it's possible to get very good without training McGee ever. But I, I think it's, I think it's a good idea to train both. Mm-hmm. I think it'll help. What, how, where do you see the future of Jiu-Jitsu? Uh, will it split like, like yesterday somebody said it will become two different sports? Yeah. In what, in what's like, like gi and no gi? Yeah, right. because like no okay, gi is okay. getting more like, like sub only. Like points and sub only. Okay, okay, okay. And gi is... It's all grappling. More like IBJJF. Yeah. Let's stick to the way we did it always. Let's skip the leg locks. Yeah. Let's I mean, look, at the end of the day, it's all, it's grappling. You're wrestling and looking for, you know, positions where you're stronger than the other guy. It's, it's all the same shit. You know, there's just the point systems, scoring systems, the, the goals, the strategy, you know, that stuff comes into play with the points. But for the most part, you have two arms, two legs, and that's it. I mean, you get, I don't know, you get guys that are like saying it's going to be a, two different sports. You, you can always compete in both sports and have, a, you know, you're, you're going to be competitive in both sports. If you're competitive in one, you're going to be competitive in the other. So that to me means they're more or less the same sport. You know, badminton and hockey are not the same sport because if I'm really good at hockey, it doesn't make me really good at badminton. But if I'm really good in IBJJF, I'm probably going to be at least kind of good in uh, sub only. It's just, it's the same thing, you know, in that sense, at least. Um, are you interested in MMA and maybe you have it maybe in the back of your head one day try it or? I don't know I, re- I started doing uh, MMA TriStar oh, before, really? before Jiu Jitsu yeah and then uh, I kind of started doing Jiu Jitsu and then said forget yeah. everything else Just love so many people did that yeah a lot of people so a lot of people, people ended up that same uh, path um, I don't know I don't know I, I feel like I just want to be the best grappler in the world like I just that's, like I just want to be you know that's a pretty yeah. lofty goal but I feel like if I could do that, I'll be very uh, satisfied with my life. Yeah. Good. Yeah. I think you're on a good road to Thank this. Thank you. I hope so. I hope so we'll at see. the end, any shout outs, uh, name your sponsors? Uh, Chushitero, thank you again for sponsoring me on and off the mats. So you guys rock. Uh, the whole team. Uh, TriStar and Henzos, you guys all rock. You guys are competing, killing the game. Uh, yeah. Hello from Germany. Hope all is well. Uh, come train at Matrix whenever you come to Europe. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you for having me. Yes.